Good evening. WA is just days away from being mostly mask free. Crowd caps will also be scrapped as well as many of the remaining COVID restrictions. But the state's doctors do warn infections could still peak within weeks. It's one of the last but most visible restrictions still in effect in WA. But masks, like many more pandemic rules, will soon be thrown away. It's time to start to go back to living with COVID, to being uh, working as normal, going to school as normal and playing sport as normal. Um, but please be mindful of our vulnerable members of our community. From 12.01am this Friday, masks will no longer be required indoors, but they'll still be needed in hospitals, age and disability care, prisons and airports, as well as public transport, taxis and rideshare. Crowd limits at venues will be lifted with no caps on stadiums or major events. It's no exaggeration to say this is the best news that WA's hospitality industry's had in the last two years. Close contact rules will now be aligned with the rest of the country with quarantine scrapped. You'll no longer need a G2G pass to get into WA or be triple vaccinated. Schools will also go back to normal with an additional 12 million rats being distributed to detect infections. But WA's doctors, not sure if we're ready to scrap COVID restrictions. I'm greatly concerned that we may be going too soon, given that our three-day average is only 600 less than what it was at our uh, previous peak in, at the end of March. Um, but only time will tell, and we'll find out in the next week or two. Overnight, there were 6,711 new cases, 249 people in hospital, 11 of those in ICU. There have been eight deaths, seven of those historical. Even though life will be mostly back to normal, the government didn't rule out bringing back restrictions if another strain was to come into WA. We have to remain agile and responsive to this, um, to this pandemic. We know with COVID that it's very unpredictable so we need the capacity to be able to reintroduce measures to protect the health of the community. Anne Ray Leonard for 10 News First.